How much do I train? That's a common question I get all the time. Harley, you must train like a lunatic. You must be on your bike 24 7. Do a 24 hour race every week, every month, every year, non stop around the clock. You run a marathon before breakfast every day. I heard Duran Rider runs a marathon every day. I heard he trains kickboxing six times a day. I heard Duran Rider travels in Lance Armstrong's suitcase and trains with him all the time, and then he does extra training after that. I heard Duran Rider carries an 80 pound bag of bananas on his head. While he's riding four bikes and running a marathon before that. You hear all sorts of rumors on the internet. Look it up, how much I train on the internet. People got all their own theories. I thought I should do a video to clarify. I need to do that. Let's clarify, let's be objective. Firstly, I did a running race in Bangkok this morning and I got fourth overall. And population Bangkok, 10 million people, the, the king's birthday celebration running race, I get fourth. 10 million people, the vegan guy gets fourth. Where the fuck do you get your protein from? So how much do I train? <sighs> I'm going to tell people and they're not going to believe it. They're, just, they're not going to believe it. I'll do, do the math. Here's a, here's a picture of how much I've trained since January 2008. Check it out. He's a lazy monkey. So that averages about 2.1 kilometers a day or about, and about 41 kilometers down the bike. So 2.1 k's a day jogging, which is about 10 minutes. 41 k's is about an hour and a half. I'll tell you what, I don't have a driver's license, don't own a car. So when I go to go shopping, I put the backpack on, put the bike trailer on, and I go ride, riding around. And then my, maybe once a month I'll go and do a 200k fun ride and just explore new places. Like my other video, I never exercise, I like to explore. I like to race, I like to be adventurous, I like to be social and use sport as my social group versus instead of going to a pub and drinking alcohol and being a dickhead, I'll go out on my bike and be a dickhead. I'll go out on my bike and ride around and have fun and see new places and encourage people and race against people and trash talk and just communicate and it's fun. Fresh air, nature, I love that. So I never exercise ever, 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 ever. Never exercise, don't recommend exercise. I think exercise is from the devil. Satan's mission is to get people to exercise. So I tell people, do not exercise ever again in your rest of your life. Watch my video on why I don't exercise. So there you go. So 2.1 k's a day jogging, 40 k's a day on the bike average, and most of that's just doing errands, riding around. And people will see me out riding and go, wow, Harley, I saw you riding the other day. You're riding really slow. Like, how come you're riding so slow? And I'm like, that's how I always ride. And then there'll be another time people see me go, oh, man, you, you just blasted past me up the mountain, man. Like, that bamboo bike, man, that fucking rocks. That you going just... Boom! Straight past me, man. I thought it was Lance Armstrong in town. And I was like, yeah, that's me doing an interval. Let's be more objective. About 90% of my training is my heart rate under 60%, 50% of max heart rate. So it's under 120, under 110. 90% of my training is under 60% of my heart rate. 90%. 10% of my training is over 80% of my max heart rate. So I'm sitting on 165, 175, 180. My max heart rate is 190. So there you go. So it's bottom line. 90% of my training for the last four years has been under 60%, 50% of my max heart rate, and only 10% over into that you know lactate threshold where you're really sweating and you don't want to be talking, you're just like on the go. So I do about an average of an hour a week of intensity, and it's, which is about four hours a month. And this guarantees me 100% impossible to burn out, yet still stay at a really really high fitness level. So if Lance Armstrong comes to Adelaide and I want to go for a ride and I can get through the security entourage, I've got no problem at all keeping up with Lance Armstrong for five hours in our local mountain areas. Not a problem at all. The biggest problem is getting past security. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Or go out with, you know, Alavandro Verde, keep up with being out with him for six, seven hours, not a problem at all. Just going out training, just tapping away there. Up the mountains, down the mountains, whatever. Actually, the only problem I do have is probably on the downhills where people are going pretty quick and I'm, a, I'm not that skilled on the high-speed descents. But uphill on the flat, not a problem at all. Hot, all-day headwinds, not a problem at all. Bring it on, easy. Eight hours a week training, eight hours a week just commuting, throwing a bit of intensity, you go out with my mates, do a race now and then. World-class fitness on eight hours a week. Who doesn't have eight hours a week? I spend 
at least eight to 10 to 12 hours a day, sometimes on the internet, working on my website, writing stuff, YouTube videos. So I spent at least 50 to 70 hours a week, on average, sitting down my ass. Eight hours a week, off my ass, moving around. You do the math, and you tell me. <laughs> How the heck do carbohydrates make you fat if Duran Ryder is only doing eight hours a week on over 90% of that low intensity, how come he's how how can he stay so rail thin for so long, for over a decade? How, how is it so? How is it so that he can eat so little fat and stay lean? Because they tell you out there that fat makes you lean and carbs make you fat. Food makes you fat. Food makes you fat. Food makes you fat. Food makes you fat. Carbs make you fit. They give you the energy, so you want to get out there and socialize with people versus sitting behind some DVD doing some like turbo burnout intensity dude video with some guy jacked on cocaine and steroids telling you go, 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 go. That's just fucking insanity to me. So it's basically just using your body, getting out there, having fun, make your social group, your health and fitness group versus your smoking, drinking, drugs, crazy group. And that's just, your whole life changes. You don't have to make any fad diet changes or do some cleansing or bogus whatever. Your lifestyle becomes the cleanse. Your lifestyle becomes the fast. Your lifestyle becomes the, the motivation to live well. This becomes fun. And when you make something fun, you take care of motivation. When you make something fun, you take care of motivation. And that's what we all want. We all want fun in our life. We all want to feel good. And I'll tell you what, man. Overtraining sucks. Don't get it caught up in that trap. If you're overweight, you want to drop the pounds, give it time. Take advice from the skinny dude I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you straight up, I don't have any protein powders to sell you like Mark Sisson or whoever. I don't have any bogus emotional cleansing, wishy-washy, spiritual woo-woo nonsense. I'm going to tell you straight up, when you're looking after your body's needs of sleep, water, sugar, sugar, yes, sugar is actually good for you, fruits and vegetables, good things for you, potatoes, rice, pasta, fruit's always going to be the best, but your body needs carbohydrates. So if you're not going to load up on the fruit, load up on the pasta and the rice and stuff like that and keep it no oil, no animal low salt. So when you look after your sleep water or sugar, you're looking after your needs. It's like the, the house plant in the corner, when the house plant's wilting over, we don't go, oh, that, that house plant's like sad, it's got some emotional crisis going on. We're like, no, the house plant needs more sun or water or better soil, Boop, comes back up again. So when we see humans that are fading and having drug addiction problems and all this stuff, they've all got low blood sugar, they've all got low glycogen. When you take drugs, your blood sugar goes up. You're not addicted to nothing, man. You've just got low blood sugar. You take drugs. Your body goes, yeah, well, higher blood sugar, good. Keep doing the drugs, man. Simple as that. Alcohol, cocaine, chocolate, whatever. It all raises your blood sugar. So I'm going to give people straight up solutions, simple solutions, shit that works versus some scam to make you dumber, fatter, and me richer. Fuck that. I'm not into that. So thanks for watching. That's how much I train. That's how much I move my body. I never exercise. I'm just active because active lifestyle, that's fun. To carb hard, sleep hard, drink hard, live hard. Life's a daring adventure or it's nothing. You want more adventure in your life? Get more carbs in. Don't just do it. Do it better. I'll see you out in the carb adventure lifestyle. Thanks for watching.